This here is a uh, intercom that I got back in the day. Realistic. And uh, there's no such thing as wireless or anything. It kind of, uh, I believe, it worked through the electrical lines. So one thing you had to do was to uh, make sure that they were plugging in the same leg on the electrical panel. If not, it will not work. We'll see if we can get it to work here. Because it works better when uh, one unit is in one room and the other was far away, but on the same leg of the electrical line. Um, uh, what we have here is a realistic, I believe I have something written here where A was where somewhere and B and C, two different channels. We'll leave it in B, I guess. And here you, uh, you, you to make a call, you just hit that button and it will beep on the other side. And when you talk, you just press this one here and you can talk and let go. Here's the volume. We'll turn it on in a minute. We'll plug it in to see if it works. Um, What's on the back of this? Let's see. Uh, let me get this. This will help a little bit. Uh, oh, you might be able to see that. I see it. I see model number 43. 218A. 43218A is the model number. 5 watt. Custom manufactured in Taiwan for Tandy Corporation. Radio Shack, the division of Tandy Corporation. Fort Worth, Texas. And uh, reduce the risk of fire or whatever. And it's got a squelch. I guess a little knob there. A little squelch. Let's see if we can just plug these guys in to see if it will work. Hopefully it works. Let's uh, turn on the power. Let's turn this power on. Let me see if I can call the other guy. No, nope. not gonna work. Oh, oh here he goes. It's probably not working because it's plugged in too close. go. I haven't used these in quite a long time. Like I said, I got this back in the day. Uh, that's the noise. I used to hate that. Now to talk. Let's see if I can hear it. That's it, that's it. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, it works. It, it, it works. That's the noise. There you go. Okay, annoying. Um, I figured, oh, getting the door crazy. Oh, I figured take it out of the the box there where I have these. Been in there for quite a long time, and figured uh, we'll keep it and put it in the files of YouTube for the world to see. A realistic intercom, very. Nothing crazy about it. Built very well. Very hard plastic. If I could drop this, it probably won't break. That's how things were made back then. And there you have it. And I'm glad I still have them to show. And thank you for watching.